Hello and welcome back to a park with a massive umbrella in it. Look, it even got a lightning attractor. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's uh, the umbrella park called Thunderstorm Park. Which uh, I think is quite, well, deserving, you know. A massive pyramid, aka umbrella in the park, to m help us with building underground rides. And we have been doing that already. And look, thunder is coming. And that will be a good moment to check if our coaster is indeed, well, considered to be underground, despite these obvious above ground parts. Well, what could happen? A thunderstorm is coming. I mean, what could go wrong in this sky-high contraption of metal, right? <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, um, well, we've just did that and the Haunter Mansion. The thing is that in this park, I think that thrill and gentle rides will be of lesser importance. I feel that coasters will be the real thing. So, to that end, what did we got so far? Oh, a motion box. I think the motion box is actually considered to be a covered ride. So when it starts raining, guests will still go on that. That's good, actually. Um, shall we build that? You know what? Why not? All right. However, that's not why I came here. Because coasters are going to be more important, I'm going to switch the research to coasters. Even though we have three coasters that we can build... All of them. Well, these two not are this one not so much, but these two are damn expensive. Especially this one. I mean, look at that, thirty nine hundred. That's a lot. This one, more reasonably expensive. Not super expensive, but we are gonna bid this one next. However, I need more because with only two coasters, I wouldn't be able to make anything cool out of this or this one. So, yeah, that's why we're researching coasters. And what I'm hoping for is uh, something like, well, a uh, rodent coaster, you know, or uh, <laughs> some other coaster with tracks and cars. <laughs> no, but um, you know you know what I mean. I mean, you need like a more cheaper intermediary coaster to help boost our profitability a little bit. But I also see that we got this, so we might as well build it. And we might as well uh, build it uh, pretty close to our Hunter Mansion. Say like right over here, for example. Have it face path here, you know, the pyramid. Yeah, yeah, that will do. Um, will we put it like this? Oh, we, since we can, <laughs> we will. Now, because this is also considered a covered ride, uh, we are gonna have this have a long queue as well. Well, look at this, man. I'm just curious to... No, crap. Hit five bucks. I'm curious to one thing. Oh man, the visibility is utter worthless when it's raining. I mean, like this, it's alright, <laughs> but I mean, this isn't so bad, you know, this view. However, <laughs> this doesn't give away anything about the heights of the pyramid. Well, this does a little, but it's still 2D things, you know. Though, yeah, maybe that, this will work, but I mean, if we turn it back like this, <laughs> it's utter rubbish, <laughs> the view. Yeah, and we'll have that a lot of the times. Right, now is also the time, because it's raining right now, to see if the guests want to go on this coaster. So let's see what they think about it. Oh, look at that. I'm not paying that much. Wait, what? You don't? Have I overpriced this? Yeah, I think I should. what I should have done is have this be 5.70. Maybe, maybe they... In this park, they also don't want to pay extremely high prices. That could be the case. I mean, if we take a look at what they think over here. Yeah, they want to go, you know, they want to go on something more thrilling. But if we take a look over here. Uh, yeah, see, while it's raining. See this? I'm not going in the ocean to while it's raining. That is what we didn't saw at this coaster. So, as far as I'm concerned, this coaster is considered to be underground for the guests. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Go and catch some lightning for me. 
All right. Anyway, uh, we will quickly construct the queue and exit path for our ride. Our newly built shoebox motion thingy. So that we can have it hook up to where we need it to be. Right, like this. This is more or less where I need this to be. I think that hooks it up. So that's good. We'll leave it. I will trust my building skills and send this to be right. And they were. Right, good. Then we need some... Look at that, man. I mean, <laughs> I thought that the path was brown, but... Or uh, red, but it's almost brown in this rain. <laughs> That's not good at all. Alright, um... Yeah, let's quickly set this one up here. Uh, for success. Because we need thrill riders in there. That's pretty much all that we can do about it. <laughs> right, yeah, look, see, it's raining, and they go on this. Don't they? Or are they not? What are they thinking? I'm not paying that much. Hmm, that has me thinking though that maybe our pricing strategy won't work so well in this part. I mean, nobody has gone on it over here and now has the... Oh, never mind. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be inspecting it that much. I mean, it has worked in previous parks, so why wouldn't it now? Um, we will go with... Uh, Bit of a dark setup over here, like that. And it should be all good. Well, except for the fact that it's missing a name. Right, um, let's see here. Motion box. How about we are going to call this um, the thunder. Ooh, no, we're going to call this uh, the cage of damage day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Totally not related to some scientific uh, thing for electrical safety. Totally not, let me tell you. <laughs> so, there. We got that in place. What we need now is a handy dude. Thank you. What? And then the... Wow. Then the path magically turns red again. Alright, so that's very interesting. Anywho, uh, we got this in place now. What we're going to be needing is uh, another coaster. Do we have the cash for that? No, not so much. But we are going to need it and we're going to take out some loan for that. So, you know what? Let's just take out the whole nine yards here. And uh, we need to take a quick look at where we're going to build our mine train coaster. Now, my thought is to build the mine train coaster in parallel with um, this steel mini one. But instead of it going, you know, outside of the pyramid, I think that the mine train coaster, for a good portion, should stay inside the pyramid. At least, you know, well, more or less till... Well, yeah, till where? <laughs> um, well, I think this section over here... And that way we at least have like the whole upper section. We got all these sections over here. Which should be good for at least like another seven coasters. But we'll have to see. Um, You know what? I mean instead of talking all that much about it. Let's build it. Alright. And I also want to know. Oh. A 3D. Ooh, oh that's good. A 3D cinema. That is another ride that is rain proof. And it's a thrill ride. That's amazing, actually. Right, good. Well, I like that. I approve. I'm also thinking, by the way, about our infrastructure. And once we expand till over here, what we're probably going to have to do is build a path like this. So that, you know, it is, well, a triangle. Which is like a half-cut square, you know, our patented infrastructure design. But that's for later. For now, we will be building this. So, well, let's get to it. Unpause the game. That might help. And, um, well, let's go in the ground first. So we can get to... Wait, what? Raise or lower the land? Is that... The pyramid is actually lower on that side. Huh, that's interesting. Didn't know that. 
That's fine though, no problem. We will go in the ground over here. Game, you're not stopping me. Okay, now comes the visibility issues. I can just feel them popping up. Um, you know what, we'll have this one be facing the other direction though. I also want it to be a little bit closer to over here. The one now bid station. I remove this one and then let's see is this interfering with the path over there it isn't but it does say that station platform is too long which i can somewhat agree with so yeah we'll go over here now because there's a massive hill over here i don't think we'll build much rides on this section unless we absolutely run out of space so what my plan is, is to have the lift go up outside of the pyramid. I know, I said we should stay inside and we will, but you know, first section and all that, I think that we could go outside over here and utilize the hill somewhat. Also, <laughs> that leaves me with normal visibility so I can actually see what I'm doing. So far, so good. Now, because this is like a uh, second coast there, we can't go too crazy overboard with everything. And also, <laughs> because there's a park border, right, we need a drop in there right now. This is actually not really where I want to go with this coast there, so... Yeah, this is more like it, really like this and then a little bit more like that get like a photo thingy in there for extra cash or not um, okay we can do that somewhere oh no actually can we think of it we can't do that somewhere else because of yeah right uh, we need to get a curve in here then how about we go you know what we'll do a helix actually helix down large okay <laughs> so far for the helix <laughs> oh crap um, yeah i need to go inside this pyramid again so i also want an unripe photo section in there and i'm afraid that we won't be getting that if i don't build it like right now so we will get it and uh yeah, run into issues. So we won't get it over there. Instead, we will build it over here. I know it's not the most exciting on right photo section placement, but that's alright with me. We'll do a helix down large. Down, I said. Like that. And then a tighter curve. Oh, and we can actually go like... Uh, but there's our own track and being in the way. Can I go? No. Alright, alright. We need to go underground with it. The game's clearly hinting to me that right now is the time to go underground. So we'll do that. Like a so. Problem solved. You know what? We will also have a drop in here. To height 7. Which means that we can still go above everything. Which is also more or less the aim, really. Right, let's see how this view uh, is to build in. Kind of like this one. So, well... So far, so good, though, actually. Uh, we could also try and see that we go up here. Right, now I'm at height 12, while I have no clue where I'm building below. Height 18, it seems. Right, th th this is workable actually, you know, doing it like this. So, yeah, that's not so bad. I feared it would be a lot worse than it is right now, but no, it's pretty, pretty decent. Right, now we do have an issue of, well, you know, our own track, so, oh, <laughs> and the footpath, also an issue. So, what I think we should be doing is go, oh, Oh, hi there. That's interesting. Yeah, and then there is the roller coaster in the way. Hmm. Alright. 
well. Let's see what happens if we go down straight. Am I? Yeah, I'm right above the roller coaster. That's not good. So we'll have like a sharp curve here. And then we will go down like this with a massive drop. Because that works. And if I go to hide one now, I can now swing around like this. And then, yeah, we will do you know, some mellow curvature over here. Which we can do because, well, you know, we are at height level 1 at the moment. Which means there's not a lot for us to contend with in terms of space. Maybe we could even do a helix up large. Okay, but I don't think that... We can do that, but not over there. Maybe over here, helix up large. Yeah, it's just that I'm coming from the wrong angle to helix up large to the right height. Oh, but there is a roller coaster track. Right, so instead of helixing up large, which seemed cool, uh, we won't be doing that. You know, instead, we will be... Oh. Okay, um, it, a small issue. If we go to high 2, we can kind of... Well, you know, neglect that. Cancel it out, and now I think would be a nice moment to get back to the station. Oh balls! <laughs> I am one off. But because we got quite a bit of straight ahead of us, I think with the brakes, nice, perfect. Well, um, quite a costly track in the end, <laughs> I must admit. But I think quite a cool one too. I think it's quite epic, you know, in terms of track design. So. Uh, wait, hold on a second. This is... Okay, coasting in the way, not over there. Kind of odd, really. Kind of... Didn't really knew what was in the way, but fine. We will build both of these on this side. Yeah, we kind of have to. Next coaster, we'll build in the same direction. Now we can have at least hook the exits up with each other. But, right now... We got ourselves a finished coaster, which we should test ride, of course. So, and while you guys watch that over there, I'll quickly get something that resembles a queue line in there. Is it going to be long? Hell yes, it's going to be long. And in fact, we are going to pull off the same trick that we did with, um, with the uh, other queue path. Okay, maybe that's not going to happen. Maybe I need to do it like this. I don't know, really. No, that's not allowed. Balls. Alright, so that's not going to happen. But what we can do, right now, it is going to happen. Watch. Look, we'll go up, up, up. And bam, long queue, I know, but uh, these, you know, both the steel mini coaster and this one are known for being extremely fast uh, with, uh, you know, well, gas turnover rate, if that's a thing. But, uh, uh, we need to get some interior down here. Uh, trash can too. Get no entry sign, really, really important. I can't even see, yeah, I placed it right. Good. Well, ooh, and look, that is yet another test ride. Oh, wow. Our second coaster is like only half a point shy of Grand. I had no intention of making this a Grand coaster. Yet it is remarkably close up there, really. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by the ratings that we got for this one, if I'm honest. So, yeah, pretty good. Um, yeah, and look at the look at the peeps on the queue over here. They all want to go on this ride because it's raining. I like that. It's going well. I must admit, it's going really well. Trains are filled up over here. And they even want to go on this ride. Is this considered? You know, I'm curious right now. 
to see if is this ride considered to be underground you're not paying that much all right but they don't complain about raining so this is actually built oh man next park or whatever uh, uh, future park really uh, we're gonna try and pull this off ourselves i mean that's just amazing really you know to build it underground <laughs> i you know what i expect they have done because you can build this up in sections. I think that what they did is they just build it up here. Yeah? You know, up on top of the pyramid. Uh, build it like to some height. Then removed the whole station but left the track floating only to build it downwards. And then build the station. I don't know if you can do that but that's the only way that I can think of how they pulled that off. I mean, well, other than just hacks and developers, you know, but... Right, anyway, um, it is time that we set up, you know, our mine train coaster that we just built. And because it has such awesome ratings, we are going to be charging 7 bucks for this. And hell yes, guests, you're all going to have to pay, because I know that you're loaded with guests. Oh, by the way, speaking about guests, I <laughs> kind of forgot to put this on. I already spent 21 bucks, but not right. <laughs> well, it's not that bad, I hope. So, right, but yeah, pretty cool mine train coast. Eh? Pretty high rated too. Really good, really good. We need to color this. We need to name it and uh, we will do so. So, let's, uh, first of all though, let's get the view back to normal. I mean, the underground view doesn't matter so much. It's the above ground that matters. Um, we are gonna be opening it up. We need to put this to 10 minutes. And we will be calling this the. Um, yeah, the Adamantite. Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. How about we're gonna call this. Yeah, the Static Golem. No, 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 no. We are gonna call this static exposure. How about that? Oh man, that sounds so coastery like. That's pretty cool. And then for colors, we will be going with white. Actually, because of these black and white tiles, and this looks remarkably good, if I'm honest. But it all depends on like the other track colors that we're going to go with. That is not what we're going to go with. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. This will require black tracks. Or maybe brown tracks. No black. I mean black doesn't look so bad either. You know because of the whole pyramid. Though wait hold on a second. That's cool. By rotating the view, we change the lightning. The lightning is always coming from the right. Look, see? It doesn't matter how we... <laughs> That's a cheap lightning engine if I ever knew one. But okay, <laughs> cool discovery. <laughs> yeah, so the lightning changes with how we look at the park. Huh? <laughs> Apparently. Right. Um, static exposure, huh? Let's just change this to that. Have like these tracks on there, you know, track lines. If I make this now white, it's you. If I make it grey, no, 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 that, oh man. Alright, brown. Somewhat. I actually like the black the best, to be honest. We will have a white. Okay, maybe if I change this around, like this, no, 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 maybe we can have these be like this, and then have these be like this, yeah, that looks quite alright, to be honest, I don't know, it's a bit of an odd coloring, but what I kind of want to keep, you know, is like, they got the blue, purplish theming over here, kind of, and the red one here, I kind of want to stick to that color theming really but I'm not really happy with the colors that we've gone for but f you know it's the supports really that make it difficult and I think that with the mine train coaster I think that this is pretty much the best we can get 
or we're gonna no no i'm gonna stick with this so pretty good um i also kind of want to build some music in the park i mean it's been damn quiet wait what oh my god <laughs> i mean as much as i like this coaster this is the last thing that i need right now what i need is like a rodent coaster or uh you know one of those new cheap ones not this one the most expensive hyper coaster there is what i would really love is a virginia reel to be honest but all right well i don't think we can even afford to build a station of this coaster so never mind what's next though oh they don't know we just got it well that's all right now what we will do is uh, we will build yet another ride you know a music box like i just said to be honest, I think that we should build it over here. Even though I kind of want to expand the development of the park more over here, I feel that the music box should be over here. So, let's get it there. Well, this is a really nice spot for it, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, well, um, it is a nice spot, but... It also has an issue. Well, what I could do is have the thingy go above over here, but don't. Yeah, I feel like we need to. It's not that, you know, it's a bit cramped over here, because I want to give this a long queue line, but with the current, you know, layout that we got, it's not all that easy. Well, this is at least a given. Then, let's see how we hook this up. I need to go up here. Yeah, see that that's the issue. I don't have enough space to pull something up like that. So right. Uh, we need to relocate the entrance really. If I you know what? We are gonna be daft and terraform this over here. If I place the entrance over here, this will work. I mean, my whole plan of having it go above the queue of the scrambler axe will now work. It will all fall into place. Look. We go up by two. And then, right now, we can just go above there. Look. This is, this is what I wanted. I know, again, a long queue, but because this is, you know... Well, this ride will still lure in guests even while it's raining. I think it's justified. So let's now quickly set this up. We're gonna charge five bucks for this. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. By the way, oh, there's still <laughs> the rain shelter building one is luring in folks. So yeah, I'm just worried about the pricing not working. Well, I have no reason to really. So well then. No, no, no. We'll keep that being white. You know what? We'll keep that brown. Because I think that's the original. And uh, can I have this be one darker? Look. Perfect. Perfect fit. So, we will call this the Blue Stallion. <laughs> Their Blue Stallion. <laughs> no. The Blue Stallion. You know what? Stallion with a capital S. There. That's much better. Uh, we'll quickly set this up as well. How about <laughs> 25 rotations? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, man. Um, right, good. All ready to go. Let's uh, open it up. Ah. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Such classic music for this game. <laughs> oh, uh, one thing I just now realized, and I totally forgot that, is handy dudes for the exit of the uh, new coaster that we just built. I don't think that we got one patrolling over here, and we damn right we do need one. So, you there? I don't think it actually matters all that much if you mow the grass or not. Oh, but this is going to be a bitch. It really is. Um, to be honest, I mean, my best bet would be to... 
or put it, I think actually over here, you know, this area. I think this will cover the exit. But we also need, well, we need, we need like two mechanics, one loose, but one for the safety over there. So mechanic number whatever. You're only gonna be fixing, alright. And um what did I I mean there or there? The only way really to find out if he's trapped. Okay, so apparently that area is not the right one. Or is it now? It is! Nice! We actually got him! Right, that's good. Okay, so, um, well, with that all taken care of, the park is looking to be a little bit more healthy now, with at least two coasters and uh, some more covered rides and all that. But we are not there, because it's only June year one, and we got 400 guests in the park. Is that enough? Well, um, 1,400? No, <laughs> that's not enough. Because uh, we need at least a hundred more before the end of the year. I think that we will manage that though. But, and there's only one way to find out. And that is to join next time when we play more Roller Coaster Tycoon.